how can how can about 37 percent of the people where they watch our videos no subscribe to this fan stripe channel please subscribe and also subscribe to the fan stripe extra channel now there's some special moment from our shows and other things there so please subscribe check the comment section for the fan stripe extra link and then thank you so much enjoy the video <laughs> zero zero draw and uh, i don't know disappointing you know 10 goals for the last uh, two matches before this one <laughs> and that's the goal finish. Okay, so I I think normally, so this was actually uh, Crystal Palace's best squad since the season started. So you might actually think, oh, they they were not doing that very well before uh, this man you gave. But then this is their best squad. So and when I saw the lineup, it was you could tell that they actually put up that lineup to defend. Because of course they saw that Man you scored seven goals in their last game. So they were trying to be precautionary or something. But that being said, I think I don't want to really blame Erin Ten Hag. So I can only blame him about the substitution. So because you are not really being threatened. So now you the attack. You get that kind of stuff. So and then you are attacking and then you're removing players like attacking players like Ericsson for uh, Manuel Ogate. Who if you say if I take Bruno or for who? No, like I no, Bruno was not actually playing in his A game today, but he still has that quality in him. So I thought maybe a player like Messi Mount for Ericsson. Or you can even allow the game like that. Because I thought man, they were creating a lot of chances. They just were not taking it. So but all of a sudden. Towards the end of the game, so they allowed Crystal Palace to get back to the game and then they were struggling to create chances. So I feel, yeah, like you said, very disappointing one. But, I mean, it's promising because they've actually dominated every game they've played this season. So they've lost some. Um, Brighton, Liverpool, and then, and then they draw this one. But possession-wise, they've actually done well. So Did Martinez escape a red card today? Uh, I don't really think so. The fact that he did not actually match someone. It was on ball. Well, you get what they call intention. Yeah, yeah. Like, he intentionally went for the ball, not for the leg. With two legs to trap one ball. And, and to, to add to that, referee was actually very close to the event. So he was standing there when he saw... But if, if, I mean, personally, honestly, if you give red card for that offense, I wouldn't be like, wow, that's very soft or something. But... If you don't, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Was it hard luck today? Yeah, you can say so because we hit the post for like two times. Uh, Ganacho, Fernandez, and we created a couple of, in fact, a lot of chances that we did not take. But at the same time, it was also, they also did not take their chance, even though they did not create much. But like the two or few they created, they did not take it. So I thought the game was just bound to be like this. So is the draw a good result for my? No, no. It's a very terrible result. Like, they lost. It's a game they lost. So they lost the point. It's not like, it's their three points that they lost. Because if they, like, it's, it's, it's a point one for Palace. And two points lost for United. Because Palace were second in every everything in the game. So United were on top and all of that. But... They just managed to mess up their whole chances. And that's very bad for them. Your man of the match? Man of the match. Maybe Henderson. I don't really think. The keeper put in a very good... Uh, Both keepers? Yeah, actually. But I think um, Henderson did better. Because he, he saved some clues. Yeah, so, so I think he did better than Onana. Because Onana didn't actually face... He just faced like... A double quick, yeah, exactly. So that was it for me. But I mean, like coming to this game, I was actually very, I was not a Ten Hag. Even to now, I I'm still not a Ten Hag fan. So Ten Hag has a lot of works to do. So he talks tough and does very little. So and um, I don't know what he's doing in training ground about how to finish because if you look at Man U. They create chances, they just don't take it. In fact, against um, against um, Southampton, I guess Southampton, I guess probably they didn't even create a chance, but I guess Southampton, the goals they scored were more or less not really clear cut chances like that. It's just like the Rashford goal and the last goal. So it was just 
the chances they created, they did not take it. Do you understand? So, and um, I'm beginning to actually get pissed at Bruno Fernandes. But I can't say so much negative things about him because of how good I think he is. Like, he has that qualities. And then he kind of always del delivers for both clubs and country. Especially the country of, as of recent. So, seeing how bad he actually, like, sometimes he's... And then he's gesticulation, like, body gestures. Sometimes he just, like way off the team because the team is playing and they are not scoring so you are doing like uh, extra weakness you understand you are showing all of those things and then your opponent is kind of seeing that you are actually tired you are you are you are tiring them up so so that kind of situation i think that as a captain you need to have as you are playing well you also have good attitude in the game so but generally it's a draw is better than a loss. He did disappoint you. I did say I'm for your body. He did disappoint you. Nice one, brother. The most, the most disappointing thing for me actually was that my, I, I actually put a, a money on it. I put my money on it. So Number one rule, no bet your team. <laughs> no bet your team. <laughs> and and, and, and for, for a long time, I've not actually done that. But this one, I, just, I decided to. But, and I didn't even play them to win. Just... Just... Um, I just played United win or draw and over one. So that double chance now can't keep me. Like the special whatever. So but no worry, next time it will be. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you're supposed to like and all our social media links are big. Follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.